If it's your first time flying or if you just haven't been through an airport in a while, you might be wondering what the latest TSA rules are for international and domestic flights. In today's video, I'll be running through the most common airport security questions to help you pack and prepare for your next trip. Can I bring liquids and gels through airport security? Yes, you can, but there are going to be restrictions. Every liquid, gel, aerosol, or cream needs to be in its own travel size container of 3.4 ounces or 100 milliliters or less. All of these containers need to fit in a single quart size clear plastic bag and every passenger is only allowed to bring one bag with them. There are a handful of exclusions including things like infant formula, breast milk, as well as prescription medications. But for things like hairspray, uh, toothpaste, gel deodorant, these are going to be subject to the limit. If you did want to bring additional of these liquid or cream items with you, you could consider putting them in your checked bag instead, which is not subject to any liquid limit. Can I pour liquids or creams into unmarked travel size containers? Yes, this is not a problem at all. I usually try to find items in travel sizes so I can keep them in their original packaging, but if you do want to use things like these unmarked travel size containers for stuff like shampoo or cream, it is not a problem at all. Can I bring food and drinks through airport security? Any drinks that you bring through security are going to be subject to the liquid limit. This means you cannot try to go through security carrying a coffee in your hand, but also things like sealed water bottles or even a can of soda is going to be confiscated. As for the food, yes, anything that you buy at the airport or even that you bring with you from home can go through the scanner. The only thing to look out for would be liquidy foods like soups or cooked oatmeal that would be considered a liquid and would not be allowed. I usually bring things with me like trail mix or protein bars, but if you also purchase a meal at the airport before going through security, you can usually bring that. Can I bring alcohol purchased from duty free through airport security? Yes, duty free liquids are allowed and they can be over the 3.4 ounce rule as long as they were purchased at a duty free store and they remain sealed in the special tamper evident bag. Can I bring powders through security? Yes, but powder like substances also have restrictions. If they are over 12 ounces or 350 milliliters, they may be subject to additional screening. Try to keep powders in their original package to avoid any delays as you go through security or if they have any additional questions for you. Another option would be to just put any powders in your checked bag instead. Are there any restrictions on how much I can bring through airport security? Apart from the powder and liquid limits that we already discussed, no. You can bring as many bags as you want with you through airport security. It's really the airline that's going to care how much you're carrying onto the plane and this is where you might get into trouble. If you were to bring four carry-on sized bags through airport security, but your airline only allowed you to have one bag with you, you would not be able to board the plane with all of those bags. So yes, you can get through security with as much as you want as long as it's not a powder or a liquid, but it's going to be a problem for you as you go to board the plane. Can I bring razors, scissors, or tweezers through airport security and onto the plane? Straight edge razor blades need to be packed in your checked bag and are not going to be allowed through airport security. The same goes for any scissors that have blades four inches or longer. Tweezers are fine, you can bring them through airport security and have them with you on the plane. Those plastic knitting needles are also okay to go through airport security if you would like to knit while you are on the plane. Can I bring electronic items through security and onto the plane? Yes, and I would recommend that you do keep any electronics with you, take them through security and bring them on the plane as opposed to putting them in a checked bag that's going to be thrown around and also out of sight. Electronics can be expensive. As you do go through security, just make sure that you take your electronics out of your bag or out of your suitcase. This would include laptops, cell phones, Kindles, tablets, iPads, all of it, and then put them in individual bins to go through the scanner. Electronics need to be separate from the rest of your items and in individual bins as they go through the scanner. So that means one laptop gets one bin, one tablet gets another bin. Can I take my pet through airport security? Yes, if you have a small pet with you, you can take the pet out of the carrier, put the carrier through the scanner along with all of your items, and then either hold the pet or walk it on a leash through the scanner. 
or at least this is what I've seen other people do. I personally haven't traveled with a pet. I did do some research and this seems to be the case and it's more so a problem to board the plane with an animal than it is to get the animal through airport security. So definitely check with the airline that you're flying with and then see if you need to make any additional purchases in order to travel with your pet. So if you are someone that does travel with pets, please let us know down in the comments how your experience is or if you have any tips for us. I could definitely use some advice here. Is the scanner safe and do I have to go through it? According to the TSA website, advanced imaging technology is safe and meets national health and safety standards. The energy admitted by millimeter wave technology is 1000 times less than the international limits and guidelines. I personally have no problem going through the scanner, but if you are someone that is concerned, you can ask for a pat down instead. If you're on the fence about it, just go for the scanner. It's going to be much less invasive, it's painless, it's quick, it's efficient, and just an overall more pleasant experience for everyone involved. But it's up to you, and again, they should be willing to work with you if you would prefer a pat down. Should I remove my body piercings before going through the scanner at airport security? I usually go through the scanner with earrings and a necklace on and it doesn't seem to trigger the alarm. According to the TSA website, certain metal body piercings may cause the machines to alarm and a pat down might be required. If additional screening is required, you may be asked to remove your body piercing in private as an alternative to the pat down. Given this information, if I did have any piercings that were from my neck or lower, I would probably just remove them before going to the airport and going through the scanner just to avoid any potential slowdowns. What type of shoes do you recommend I wear through airport security? Feel free to wear whatever shoes you would like, just keep in mind that you will likely be asked to take them off. Slip-on shoes with socks underneath would be ideal. This where you can take them on and off easily and then once they're off you don't have to walk through the security area barefoot where many 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 other people are walking. If you've made it to the end of this video but you still have doubts about specific items and whether or not you can take them through airport security I have a recommendation for you. One of my favorite resources is the Ask TSA Facebook page. Ask TSA is a free service where you can send them a Facebook message with the exact item in question and get a response that is going to be timely as well as accurate. I've had a great experience using Ask TSA and I've even gone as far as to find the item that I'd like to bring with me and then find the Amazon listing link for it for them to review so I am 100% certain that I can or cannot bring the item with me. Regardless of the day of the week, the responses have always been quick and clear and you also know that you're getting the most up-to-date information on what you can and can't bring with you. Thank you for watching, safe travels, and if you did make it this far, definitely let us know down in the comments which city you hope to visit next. And then I'll see you back here for more travel tips and hacks next week. Bye.